हेलो फ्रेंड्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू कवर पार्ट टू ऑफ मॉड्यूल टू फॉर डी पी नाइन हंड्रेड एज योर सर्टिफिकेशन सो इन दिस पार्ट वी आर गोइंग टू कवर रिलेशनल डेटा बेस सर्विसेज इन एज योर वी आर इन विल कवर ऑल द एज योर सिक्वल सर्विसेज एंड इट्स कैपेबिलिटीज एज योर सिक्वल सर्विसेज फॉर ओपन सोर्स डेटा बेस एंड हाउ टू प्रोविजन एज योर रिलेशनल डेटा बेस सर्विसेज सो लेट्स मूव अड so in azure sql uh, first we are describing azure sql sql services and capabilities in azure sql we have four parts one is sql server on azure vm azure sql managed instance azure sql database and azure sql edge so if we go by uh, uh, azure uh, uh, database services for relational database management system so azure provides uh, sql server postgres sql and mysql in cloud so most azure database services are fully managed it freeing up valuable time otherwise uh, we are spending lots of time in managing the database so azure itself manage the databases so enterprise grade performance with built in high availability provided by cloud it it gives uh, uh, flexibility for scale scale up scale down and also helps us uh, for backup and uh, storage backup and restore of uh, uh, database services so developer can take advantage of industry leading innovations such as such as built in security with automatic monitoring threat detection automatic tuning for improved performance so all those features are already provided uh, in azure in cloud so uh, if we go by uh, services so first is like sql server on azure vm so um, it uh, its name says that sql server on azure vm so a virtual machine running in azure with an installation of sql server so use of virtual machine makes this option as infrastructure as a service eas right so this solution provides virtualization of hardware and infrastructure for compute storage and networking in azure which makes a very great option for lift and shift migration of existing on prem sql server installation to the cloud so whenever we have uh, we need to migrate from on prem to sql server so in that case uh, this provides flexibility to as it is we can lift and shift the data database right and uh, it provides very good compatibility because in other other uh, uh, services sometimes few things we cannot migrate to uh, cloud right we have some limitations but in this feature it provides complete compatibility complete flexibility of lift and shift of uh, data so uh, now uh, next is azure sql uh, managed instance so this second option is this is best for modernizing existing app so if we see this is platform as a service option that provides near 100% compatibility with an on prem sql server instance while abstracting the underlying hardware and operating system so service includes automated software update management backups and other maintenance tasks but in uh, first version like uh, sql server on azure vm we have to take care of uh, like um, um, operating system and also we have to take care of backups and restore and other management ma other maintenance tasks but in this option in sql azure sql managed instance cloud itself takes care of backups maintenance tasks and other things and it also reduces administrative burden of supporting database server instance for us right uh, so moving to next is azure sql database this is fully managed highly scalable um uh, platform as a service database service it, this is designed for the cloud so this service includes the core database level capabilities of on prem sql server and is a great option when you need to create a new application in the cloud right so whenever there is a need of creating new application then better option is to use azure sql database which provides new modern features as well right and azure sql edge this is fourth option where it, where is this uh, sql engine is optimized for internet of things scenario which need to work with streaming time series data so uh, in this is exam only introduction is covered for azure sql edge so we need to just understand that this is optimized for internet of things scenarios only so otherwise rest three uh, are given in more detail in this exam but fourth uh, for azure sql edge only this introduction is enough okay so let us understand difference between sql vm managed instances and azure sql database 
so as uh, as in last slide we discussed about that sql vm is infrastructure as a service right and managed instances platform as a service as your sql database is platform as a service so if we talk about compatibility so uh, uh, sql server on azure vm is fully compatible with on prem physical and virtualized installation applications and databases can easily lift and shift migrated without any change right so if suppose we have complete database in on prem and we need to move to um, azure right so this is the best way if uh, we need to uh, we need to have exactly copy into the azure sql so uh, it's kind of uh, uh, on prem uh, kind of sql server in virtual machine right so uh, all the features everything is same so it can be moved without any changes but if we talk about other uh, like azure sql managed instance right so in that uh, near 100% compatibility with sql server most on prem databases can be migrated with minimal code changes but it's not that no code changes it's minimal code changes few things which we cannot move but workarounds are there right and third is like azure sql database it supports mostly core database level capabilities of sql server some feature which dependent on uh, on prem application may not be available here so majorly uh, azure sql database we use when we have to develop new application from the scr scratch so new database has been uh, uh, suppose we need to create new database in that case we choose azure sql database right so next if i talk about architecture then sql server instance in vm azure vm um, so each instance can support multiple databases right so in one instance we can have multiple databases if we talk about managed instance so each managed instance can support multiple databases additionally instance pools can be used to share resources efficiently across smaller instances right uh, when i talk about sharing resources means uh, for example suppose in one managed instance we have a uh, we have one database right we have one instance that instance can be shared in multiple databases right if space is there if uh, then it can be shareable in multiple databases so it's this is the feature of elastic pool right where in uh, we can uh, if if resources are available or storage space is available then um, uh, multiple databases can share the space right so that is called as elastic pool so elastic pool feature is available in managed instance not in sql vm but in sql vm we can have multiple databases right so if we talk about azure sql database so you can uh, provision a single database in a dedicated managed server or you can use as an elastic pool so to share the resources across multiple databases and take advantage of on demand scalability so elastic pool generally we use for on demand scalability whenever suppose uh, we require uh, whenever space is there whenever storage space is there then in that case it uh, other database can also utilize that space right so it's it's kind of on demand scalability okay then uh, coming to availability point of view so uh, if we talk about um, uh, like management and availability perspective so you can manage all aspects of the server including operating systems sql server updates configuration backups and other maintenance tasks in sql vm so it means we have to manage that right so uh, it's highly customizable and um, entire maintenance patching and recovery model uh, we can choose anything right so it's highly customizable and uh, downtime also expected uh, whenever we are making changes to storage or cpu anywhere because it's not self managed so if we talk about managed instance so in this case uh, migration is little bit hard harder than sql vm and few sql service uh, server features are not available backup and patches are managed right so it's fully managed fully automated updates backups and recovery taken care by cloud right and uh, if we talk about azure sql database so in this case as well backup patches and entire maintenance part is uh, fully automated and it's taken care by cloud right so uh, if we talk about like what database space uh, we can store a space we can use up to 256 terabyte storage we can use in sql vm and here database up to 100 terabyte and the database up to 100 terabyte in azure sql database right and um, 
so uh, this is also helpful to uh, select like which one we have to use in which scenario right and if we talk about availability 99.99 uh, 99.99% uh, it's available in sql vm 99.995% is available in managed instance and 99.995% is available in azure sql database so more availability if we talk about in azure sql database and uh, then managed instance then sql vm this way if we talk about some use case scenarios right so uh, if we talk about sql vm right so its use case can be like we can use this option when you need to migrate or extend on prem sql server solution and retain full control um, with all aspects of server database configuration everything and uh, user can uh, have full control on doing maintenance on pro on giving storage space or whatever whatever customization person wants to do uh, that that is feasible in sql vm second option is like managed instance uh, this option is uh, used for cloud migration uh, scenarios majorly and particular particularly when you need minimal changes to the existing application right uh, and if we want exactly same copy every feature needs to be same then we use sql vm right and if we suppose want to use like with minimal changes then it's managed instance and um, also managed instance is self managed sql vm is not self managed right so uh, so this way we can select like which one is the best uh, for our scenario then uh, if i talk about scenario for azure sql database so use case scenario is that uh, we generally use this uh, option azure sql database if we need to create new data new cloud solution or to migrate application that have minimal instance level dependencies right so because few features which are in on prem that is not available in azure sql database so generally we use it whenever we need to create a new application new database we need to create or if suppose we are doing some migration then we we have to be uh, we have to just set all these things that few things will not be copied there or few objects cannot be copied there so we have to just find out the difference like what can be migrated and what cannot be so based on that we can identify that which solution is the best solution Uh, for our use case now to understand uh, it's different more clearly let's go into depth uh, in each and every uh, uh, service so first let's talk about sql vm so uh, in sql vm as we discussed that when we have to migrate database from on prem to azure sql in that case it's completely as it is copy it's similar to like one when we are just migrating or copying data from one on prem to other on prem it's similar to that right suppose first time um, uh, we uh, we have to go to uh, as, do azure migration and in that case we need to move our database and we don't want any risk in that case we usually select sql vm now it's if we talk about its capabilities uh, so in that case we have complete control of administrative rights entire administrative rights we would be having then uh, we can create rapid development test scenarios and when you uh, don't want to buy on prem non production server so uh, non production hardware in that case this is the best option and it's kind of lift and shift ready for existing application so it's completely fast migration to the cloud with minimal changes or no changes at all scale up the platform on which sql server is running by allocating more memory cpu power this space to the virtual machine you can quickly resize as your virtual machine without the requirement that you need to reinstall the software that is running on it so these are the capabilities in sql vm right so if we talk about business benefits so running sql server on virtual machine allows you to meet uh, unique and diverse business needs through a combination of on prem and cloud hosted deployments right so by using this option same set of server products development tools and expertise across these environments are available right and uh, generally it's not always easy for business to switch their database to fully managed service and uh, with minimal changes right and it's tough and also with this scalability with this um, management right so for this reason using sql server can offer a solu solution for this reasons using virtual machine can offer a solution but using them does not eliminate the need to administer your dbms as carefully as you would do on prem right so if we talk about another service that is the managed instance now so now we have clearly understood that azure sql managed instance effectively runs on 
controllable instance of SQL Server. Controllable by cloud, right? You can have multiple databases on same instance. You have complete control over the instance, but it's similar control as in on-prem, but it's backup, software patching, database monitoring, and other administrative tasks can be taken care. These are taken care by cloud only. So you have full control over security, resource allocation, right? So that is plus point um, if we compare from the uh, on-prem instance, right? Its managed instance depends on Azure services as Azure storage for backup, Azure event hub for telemetry, Azure Active Directory for authentication, Azure Key Vault for transparent data encryption, and couple of platform services that provide security, supportability features. So these are taken care by managed instance. It makes connection as per the requirement and accordingly or whatever customization you want to do based on that it take makes a connection and provide the facilities. So all communications in managed instance is encrypted and signed using certificate. So complete security is there. And also um, if you see that certificate uh, uh, complete certificate authentication is there its revocation is there. So if certificates are revoked, then managed instance close the connection at the same time to protect the data. So that complete protection facilities are already there. So if we talk about use case, so uh, if you want to lift and shift, uh, if you want to lift and shift on-prem SQL Server instance to cloud, in that case with minimal changes, in that case this is the good option. And uh, as your SQL managed instance feature, it's uh, it's all features are not available in Azure SQL database as in on-prem. So that is that due to this reason we are using uh, generally if you see that this word is used that with minimal changes you can migrate. With no change, it's not no changes, it's minimal changes. Right. And business benefits if we talk about so Azure SQL managed instance enable system administrator to spend less time on administrative tasks. So we need not to spend time in administrative tasks its uh, instance itself uh, take care of that, right? And um, it automatically do dynamic instance resizing, configuration changes, backups, database replication, everything taken care by itself. And um, it provides 100% compatibility with SQL Server Enterprise Edition, which runs on on-prem. It also supports uh, logins, uh, uh, like uh, database logins, Active Directory logins, right? And also it includes um, complete authentication, security, everything is there. So if we talk about third option, that is Azure SQL Database, this is the platform as a service. And in this case, Azure SQL Database is available as single database or Elastic Pool wherein we shared the resources, right? If we talk about single database means uh, this option enables you to quickly set up and run a single SQL Server database. You can create a um, uh, you can create database here and also you can create all the things like database objects tables anything you can create and you can scale the database if you need more storage space memory processing power then you can scale it so if you see by default resources are pre-allocated but you can and you you are getting charged whatever you are using and you can uh, change the configuration you can make it scalable uh, more scalable as per the requirement and it automatically, uh, uh, otherwise it automatically, whatever you uh, take as a default, uh, it automatically scales up, scales down and uh, based on the um, requirement. If we talk about elastic pool, uh, because we use this word uh, while discussing about it feature. So this option is like elastic pool means that um, if this option is similar to single database, except that default multiple databases can share the same resources like memory, data storage space, and processing power, right? So resources are referred to as pool here, right? So you create the pool and only your database can use the pool. So whatever resources you have, your database is using those resources. So this model is capable enough if suppose you have another database and suppose your database one is taking less resources. In that case, database two needs more resources. Then both can share the resources, right? So this is helpful uh, to reduce the cost. So for example, if I if I take one example, like uh, your payroll database might require, suppose some plenty of CPU power, right? So at the end of each month it requires, not always. So when you handle payroll processing, at the other time database might become much less active in other days of the month, right? 
so uh, it means uh, by end of the month it takes more resources right and other database is running uh, like f let's take one example uh, regarding uh, payroll system like suppose payroll system starts from 20th every month so 20th till 30th right so one database take will uh, one database will take more resources right but uh, in the initial time of the month like 1 to 10th suppose db2 is taking more uh, resources so in that case both resources like both databases can share the resources for example db1 takes more resources from 20th of every month till 30th db2 is taking more resources in first 10 days of the month so in that case both the databases can share the resources so this way elastic pool is very helpful it enables the resources available in the pool based on their requirement and release the resources accordingly so this way your better usage of resources can be taken care so we can take its use case scenarios <coughs> like azure sql database gives us the best option for low cost with minimal administration and it's full it's not fully compatible with on prem right and uh, in new for example if we are developing a new application so best to use azure sql database in that case and it requires high availability and it provides complete security complete storage perspective scalability perspective availability perspective so, and also it provides like it do, it does load balancing in terms of like uh, 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 sharing the resources so this is the best option whenever you are creating new databases if we talk about business benefits so azure sql database automatically updates and patches sql server software this is to ensure that we are running latest and most secure version of the service. Its scalability feature increases the resources availability to store and process data without having to perform a costly manual upgrade. And uh, if we talk about like threat protection, so it provides advanced security capabilities and, uh, 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 and cloud itself takes care of that SQL inje injection attacks and the security alerts on potential vulner vulnerability. And, uh, and uh, if we suppose there is um, a threat detection kind of alert, so all these things taken care by uh, cloud itself. So this SQL database helps securing your data by providing encryption and that protects the data that is stored in the database. So next coming to Azure uh, services for open source database. So we, uh, uh, so in Azure data services which uh, are available for uh, open source databases as well, which are MySQL, MariaDB and PostgreSQL. So uh, let's discuss about MySQL. MySQL is simple to use open source database manage management system. This is open source relational database for Linux, Apache, MySQL, PHP stack apps. And it's having all the three, uh, like uh, it's having all the additions like community, standard, enterprise. In community edition, this is completely free of charge. And uh, this is quite popular for web application, which runs under uh, Linux. Standard edition is having a high performance. It uses different different technologies for storing the data. Enterprise edition gives a gives us more comprehensive set of tools and features. It includes uh, enhanced security, availability, and scalability. So, if we discuss like uh, standard and enterprise edition are the versions most frequently we used uh, we use in uh, commercial organizations, right? So these these features are uh, these both editions are not free. Uh, only community edition is free but mostly in commercial organization we use standard and enterprise edition because it gives more uh, better performance and uh, different different more features are available here for security availability and scalability perspective so maria db maria db is new dbms this is created by original developers of mysql so in this case database is uh, rewritten and uh, database engine is rewritten and optimized to improve performance over mysql so MariaDB is uh, it offers compatibility with Oracle database and it provides built-in support for temporal data. Temporal data which stores data related to time instances like uh, for past, present and future. It keeps valid time, transaction time, decision time along with the data. So if, if uh, in simple terms if we say that uh, temporal data is majorly for, for keeping the versions uh, like uh, several versions of data it can keep. Uh, so this is the best feature and it also enables application to query the data which appeared sometime in the past so this way we can get past data as well so uh, in postgresql this is hybrid relational object database and uh, postgresql is the most popular open source uh, object relational database 
right and uh, uh, this is uh, good in reliability perspective it has lots of features related to robustness and performance so we can discuss more in detail and uh, it stores data in uh, relational data it provides uh, different different customized data types as well uh, with their own non relational properties and also it has the ability to store and manipulate geometric data like lines circles polygons so in such cases we use postgresql it offers a query language pg sql and uh, this query language is quite if we say somehow it's uh, it's variant of the standard relational query language with features uh, that enables you to write stored procedure that run within the database okay so now let's discuss about mysql in detail so as your database for mysql is pass like platform as a service implementation of mysql uh, and it gives community addition which is free of cost and uh, as your database mysql service it it provides high availability without any uh, additional cost and scalability scalability and availability is provided by the azure and uh, uh, whatever we are using based on that we have to pay right and its backups automatic backups and um, uh, point in time restore whenever required so that complete facility provided by azure in this case server provides connection security this is to enforce firewall rules and also uh, enable your ssl connections so such type of security is it's providing so many server parameters enables you to configure server settings like lock modes maximum number of connections timeouts so such kind of uh, uh, things it it provides so azure database for mysql provides global database system that scales up to large databases without the need to manage the hardware hardware we need not to add the hardware right whenever we need to scale up or maybe there is no need to change the network or network components or some more servers need to add so all those things not required so sql as your did as your itself manage that scale up and scale down and um, it also provides um, like uh, uh, few operations are not in as your database for mysql and uh, uh, related to security and administration perspective but uh like it's provided in other other uh, databases uh, accordingly so benefits of azure database for mysql is it provides high availability features which are built in predictable performance uh, performance is very good here and easy scaling whenever required based on the demand secure data both at rest and in motion uh if suppose we are not using data still data is secured and if we are using it we are using actively then still it's secured automatic backups taken care point in time restore whenever required for the last 35 days it keeps point in time restore enterprise level security it provides and uh, which and compliance perspective as your database for mysql server provides monitoring functionality to add alerts like if there is any breach security breach or somewhere some problem is coming it uh, it sends alerts accordingly and we can view metrics and logs uh, for the monitoring perspective so now next is maria db so as your database for maria db this is an implementation of maria db database management system this which runs in azure so it's based on community addition this is fully managed and controlled by azure so whatever if we see that whatever security provided by azure it's provided in as uh, maria db as well so if suppose uh, uh, you have provisioned the service and transferred your data then system requires almost no additional administration because this is taken care by azure only so benefits of azure database for maria db is first is like built in high availability with no additional cost so it's um, uh, 99% available 99.9% available its uh, performance is predictable uh, whatever we are using we are paying accordingly scaling as needed within seconds this is provided by azure then secured protection of sensitive data whether data we are using or not using it's secured automatic backups and point in time restore for up to 35 days this feature is same suppose if suppose we have to uh, get the data uh, in uh, uh, 20 days back whatever data was there so we want to restore um, uh, by that time so you can do that so enterprise grade security and compliance is available so these features if you see these are similar to mysql because these features are provided by cloud only the next is postgresql so as your database for postgresql this is uh, in uh, platform as a service implementation it provides high availability performance scaling security administrative benefits as in mysql or uh, other databases 
and its few features uh, for on-prem postgres sql are not available in azure so these features are mostly concerned with extensions that user can add to a database to perform some specialized task right like writing procedures uh, doing some programming so that is not available here in azure so but otherwise we can move data and uh, rest of the things are same so benefits of azure database for postgres sql is like this is highly available built in failure detection failover mechanism is there right there is pg admin tool which is available uh, this pg admin tool is used to manage and monitor the database and also it provides complete facility of performing backups restore so some server focused functionalities like performing server backup restore are not available because server is managed and maintained by microsoft only right and azure database for postgresql records information about queries uh, run against databases on the server and saves them in the database which is named as azure sys right so you can run the query and get the data accordingly so we have completed uh, module 2 part 2 uh, we we have gone through like what all, what all different services azure sql services are given here uh, like um, we 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 have gone through four services sql server on azure vm managed instance then azure sql database and azure sql edge we have gone through differences azure sql edge is not much required only definition is there right but for rest of the things you have to understand what is the difference when to use which one but uh, when how much is availability uh, perspective features are given in azure right and what about uh, like um, elastic pool perspective and uh, so you you have to go through all the uh, like features or differences uh, for this exam then uh, here we talked about uh, different open source databases like mysql mariadb postgresql so three different uh, open source databases their features what all facilities are there what all benefits are there so we have gone through all those things and uh, i think this is sufficient for this exam uh, for dp 900 so uh, they uh, generally ask us to just understand what all different services provided in azure so hope this video is beneficial for you please subscribe this channel to get more updates on upcoming videos so in uh, 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 this module 2 is completed here in next uh, video we will uh, uh, discuss about module 3